Hey what's up guys and welcome to the Head Start Lab series Volume 5 on Music Production. Now this is a free tutorial brought to you by the Recording Connection Audio Program, the only program that gets you inside a real studio where you learn from industry professionals on their equipment. In this video series we're going to show you everything that you need to know about music production. And all these videos were made from real tutoring sessions at the Recording Connection. So in addition to learning in a real professional studio, all of our students receive free unlimited tutoring sessions while in the program. Let's go ahead and begin. Hey, what's up everyone? Eddie Martinez here with Recording Radio and Film Connection. Now in this video, we're gonna go ahead and check out the vocoder in Logic Pro X. It's actually the same exact vocoder in Logic Pro 9, uh, but we're gonna go ahead and learn how to use it in Logic Pro X. Uh, same fundamentals are basically transferred over from nine to 10. So uh, first thing you're gonna wanna do is make sure that you have a piece of audio to work with. Let's go ahead and hear what I have here. I find you in the grace of cyberspace. Something is going to happen in one days. All right, cool. So that's the audio that we're going to be working with. The very next thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to bring up a new software instrument. So you can easily do that by selecting this little uh, button right here and make sure that you have your software instrument selected. And we just need one. We're going to go ahead and hit create. Next, we're going to go to our instrument rack right here and take a look at the Evoc 20 PS vocoder synth and hit stereo. Awesome. So this is what the uh, vocoder looks like. There's a few things that we need to do in order to get this set up. First thing we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna go ahead and side chain the signal. Uh, so we're gonna wanna go ahead and get track one and have that selected. Awesome. It, we're pretty much almost all the way there to get this set up. Now the very next thing we're gonna wanna do is find a sound that we wanna go ahead and use for our vocoding. I actually already know what sound I want to hear. It's a pretty cool sound. So we're going to use the dish bass. Next thing we're going to want to do is go over to our signal area and make sure that we have a VOC selected. As you can see that changed now. And if we hit play, we're going to notice that nothing actually happens. The reason why is because we haven't inputted any notes yet uh, in our vocoder. But once we do, we'll hear, we'll hear uh, a difference. Let's go ahead and hit play. I find you in the grace of cyberspace. Something is going to happen in one days. Okay, so we're pretty much working with the same thing. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit play again and hold down a note on my keyboard. And just make sure that your instrument is selected. I find you in the grace of cyberspace. Something is going to happen in one days. Pretty cool. So now you can hear that the vocoder's on. Now you could actually adjust the blend of how much uh, vocoding you have going on simply by going to the track and lowering or raising this any. So we're gonna actually make this more extreme and turn this completely off and then hit play again. Something is going to happen in one this. I find you in the grace of cyberspace. Something is going to happen so as you could tell right there it just made the uh, regular old um, audio that came in there a lot more interesting you can use this with anything you can use this with uh, different instruments like guitars or pianos or anything like that even drums uh, just make sure that the notes that you're playing correspond with the notes in the audio and that's pretty much how you do it so let's go ahead and make a quick little recording just for fun I'll hit uh, the record button and away we go I find you in the grace of cyberspace. Something is going to happen in one day. Very cool. So that's our recording now. Let's go ahead and stretch this out a bit. And I think I'm going to need to bring this up a little bit and drag this first note out. That should probably be fine. Now we're going to hit play. Oops. We're going to go ahead and hit play. I find you in the grace of cyberspace. Something is going to happen in one day. Cool. So it seemed like uh, maybe the first note that I pressed didn't actually pick up, but you basically get the idea. Now you can uh, use a vocoder in Logic Pro X. Now I got a quick question for you guys. Uh, who are your, some of your favorite artists that use vocoding? I actually have two. 
Uh, one of them, of course, is Daft Punk. And the second one is uh, Chromio. Their use of vocoding and TalkBox is absolutely amazing. But what I want to know is, who are some of your favorite artists that use vocoding? Go ahead and leave your comments and thoughts down below. And as always, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching this video. And if you're watching this video and you're not currently enrolled to the Recording Connection, this is only a small taste of what you could be learning in our program. The Recording Connection provides all of our students with industry standard software, like Pro Tools, to take your engineering skills to the next level. We also provide books with excellent lesson plans, a professional studio engineer who will mentor you and show you how to operate real studio equipment, and so much more. With the Recording Connection, getting finances a breeze. We have many different tuition options, so getting hooked up at a studio near you is fast and easy. For more information, check out www.recordingconnection.com. And of course, I'll catch you guys on the next video.